Welcome to the Assistive Technology and Universal Design for Learning Loan Library. We believe in the power of technology to help all students achieve high academic standards. As part of the Florida's MTSS projects, the online resource library is designed to help districts and schools implement a universal, differentiated core curriculum based on the Florida best standards. The assistive technologies available in this library can be used to identify which technologies will best support students with disabilities to participate and progress in this core curriculum. The universal design for learning technologies can be used to identify effective instructional pedagogies that support highly effective learning environments. Accounts are only available to individuals approved by district ESE directors and staff members of the Bureau of Exceptional Student Education Discretionary Projects. The Assistive Technology and Universal Design for Learning Loan Library tutorial series will take part in six episodes. Episode 1, First Time Logging In and Overview. 2, Making an Order. 3, Comparing Items. 4, Writing a Product Review. 5, Unpacking an Order. 6, Packing an order for return. Let's get started. Episode 2 Making an Order. Once you have typed in the URL www.at-udl.net, this takes you to the storefront or the loan library homepage. Before processing an order, let's take a look at the terms and conditions. Click over here. Authorizations for use of the Loan Library are reviewed and renewed yearly. There are two levels of access to the Loan Library. Level 2 includes full access to the devices and resources in the Loan Library, including the highly complex eye gaze systems and complex communication devices. Level 2 access is restricted to users who are approved by their district ESC director or are staff members of a Bureau of Exceptional Student Education discretionary project. Level 1 includes access to devices such as switch systems, alternative keyboards, general communication devices, mobile technologies, but does not include access to highly complex devices. Level 1 access is provided to those educational professionals who are part of the Bureau of Exceptional Student Education targeted professional development activity. Requests for technologies can be made online. Equipment can be requested for the following time periods, four or six weeks. You must contact Dr. Tony Dutra at tdutra at usf.edu to request up to one extension. All equipment is expected to be returned on time since many devices are in high demand. We're going to be making three different orders for an assistive technology evaluation. The first one is going to be an eye gaze system for a wheelchair. The second will be an iPad with an AAC app, and the third will be a math kit. Since these are all three different students, each order must be processed separately. This way when the trial is complete, you can return that order in full, and then that item is available for checkout by another patron. Before I start shopping, I want to log into my account. So I'm going to click my account, click log in. Enter in my username, which is my email address and password, and click login. I'm going to click the home icon and bring me to the home page. So the first thing I check here, and I look at my shopping cart, I have something left. So I'm going to click the shopping cart, and to click the X. The first assistive technology trial is a communication and eye gaze device to be mounted onto a wheelchair. So I'm going to go to the categories, and I'm going to go to communication and more. Then I'm going to click eye gaze. That refines my search to AAC, eye gaze, and head pointing. I'm going to scroll down looking at the different variety of options of eye gaze devices there are. Oh, here's one, wind slate for kids with enable eyes. I'm going to click that. I can see the brand name is FRS. There are six available in stock, and that's the vendor URL if I want to get any more information. So I can scroll down and I can see the product description 
Winslate for Kids is a speech generating device with full featured Windows tablet. Users can switch between using device for speech generation and personal computing. Winslate includes a full support for both modern UI apps and traditional Windows programs. So that's exactly what I want to try. So I can see what else is included in the product by looking below this list here. And I also see a note in red that this device is recommended to be used with a mount. Please add a mount to your cart. If you already have a mount, please indicate what mount plate is needed in the comments section. Okay, so I don't have a mount, so I want to get a mount. So the first thing I'm going to do is add that to my cart. And now I need to figure out what kind of mount I need. So here's an image that describes the mounts that are available. So I'll go ahead and I'll click that. In this infographic, we can see there are three different major mounts connected, Blue Sky Designs, and Daisy. In the orange boxes indicated here, you can see the type of mount. And in the yellow boxes, as indicated here, you can see what devices they fit onto. Now I'm gonna make a note to myself saying I'm going to use the Mountain Mover wheelchair mount and it's available for all devices. We're back to the Loan Library homepage. Now let's go ahead and get a wheelchair mount in our order. Type in wheelchair mount in the search box and then click the magnifying glass. And here I can see the mountain mover wheelchair mount. So I'll click on it. Once again, it gives a description of the product and it also tells us what the product includes and any important notes. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the cart now I have two items in the cart and I'm ready for checkout. So I'll click the cart, select checkout. Shipping address gives me two options. I want to use an existing address or I want to use a one-time shipping address. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. Additional information, this is for an assessment. I want to use it for six weeks and the student disability type is TBI. The next question is asking, will the facilitator be the person using the technology or is it different from the borrower? In this case, it's yes. So I will put in the name of the facilitator, their email address, and their phone number. Below it, I would write any comments. For example, if I was not checking out the wheelchair mount, I would write down what mount I was using so that the loan library can automatically send you the appropriate accessories. Then go ahead and click continue. Go ahead and click confirm once you verify those are the two items that you want to check out. And the next window says that your order has been placed. Let's now process the second assistive technology trial that we want to use. Click the home button. For this trial, I know I want to use the TouchChat HD app. So I'll type it in the search box and click the magnifying glass. It takes me directly to the TouchChat HD app. I can click on it. Once again, it tells me the brand is Satillo, how many are available, and the vendor URL, a quick description, and what else is, needs to be ordered. Here it says I need to order an iPad. All right, so let's add this to the cart first. Type iPad in the search window and click the magnifying glass. Scroll down until you locate the iPads. Here's an iPad that I want to use, an iPad 7th generation. So I'll click on it tells me the brand, how many are available, and the vendor URL. And it also gives me the description, what the product includes, what does it not include. So this one says it does not include an iPad case, and I need to add it to my order. So I'll add this to the cart first, and now I'll look for an iPad case. So I'll just click the back button, so it'll take me back to that same page. If I scroll down a little more, I can see the iPad 7 case. So I'm going to click on that. The brand name, how many are available, the vendor URL, and again, some description of the product. What does it include? What is it compatible with? And what does it not include? So I'm ready to add that to my cart. So I now have three items in my cart, and I'm ready to process this trial order for this student. I'll click on it, select checkout, and I'll repeat the same steps that I did last time. Continue. It's a six week trial. This student is ASD. Yes, I will be using it with a different person. I will put in this information. Click continue. Confirm my order. And it says your order has been placed. So I can here 
click continue as well and that will take me to the home page. Now I'm ready to find an item. I want to get a mini kit. So I'll click here and I'll scroll down till I see the math mini kit. Oh, I can see here it says notify me, which means it's out of stock. So I'll click notify me. I'll put in my name, phone number, email address, click I'm not a robot, click send. And as you can see, the email was registered and you will be informed when this product arrives. You can either say yes, I still want it or no, I no longer want to use it for a trial. If you do want to keep track of where your position is on that wait list for that item, go ahead and click the home page. Scroll down under the information section, click wait list. Here's the directions on the wait list and you can just click this URL here and that will take you to the wait list and you can monitor what position you are in the wait list. And thank you for attending the second episode, Making an Order. And we look forward to seeing you at a future episode.